Did I fall asleep? Where'd Sloppy go? Had to go out. Be back at 7.04. Sloppy. God, his writing is terrible. Wait. It's so really bright outside. He's gonna be gone for a while. Uh, maybe I can escape. There's, there's gotta be something around here that I can use. Hold on. I could reach that with my foot. Okay. Okay, I'm free. Oh! Now what? Well, I need to get out of this house, but I have nowhere to go. I guess I'll have to look around. Maybe I should just wait over Slappy. But, but of course, you know, I can't defeat him. Why would my dad send me a dummy that was gonna kill me? Did he not know I was alive? Sloppy made it clear that he, that Stein, my dad, knew that he was alive. They'd known each other for a while. Maybe I could go there. Maybe I could talk to him. He used to live nearby. But... There was something else in this envelope that could help me. Maybe his address. Is that what I think it is? Looks like I get to meet a famous book author. Dad's house should be down here somewhere. He lives on like the outskirts of town. No wonder I haven't seen him. Why did he leave my mom? Slappy never told me a, a good answer. He just said for circumstances. Maybe I had something to do with Slappy. Maybe he doesn't want to talk about it because it has something to do with Slappy. Maybe because he doesn't like it. Well, I see the street. I'm approaching his house now. Oh my god, what time is it? Hey, slave, it's 704. I'm home. Where is he? He broke out? Uh, looks like I underestimated him. He's smarter than I thought. Looks like I'll have to use extra measures to find him. Yes, these are the ones. 
the original manuscripts. But just one won't do. Oh, I hate you, Stein, but thank you for sending more books. It's time to start my own Goosebumps story. And make David my slave for the rest of his life. This should be the place. I hope he's home. Sloppy seems like a pretty smart dummy, but also a dumb one. Might be figuring out where I went. And who knows what he's be doing? Who knows what he went out of the house for? This is it. Arl Stein. Writer's block, of course. I never have any good ideas. Everybody's like, ooh, sloppy books, you're stale. <sighs> Whatever. <sighs> Who could that be? God damn it. Who is it? Um, are, are you Arl Stein? No, I'm Stephen King. Of course I'm Arl Stein. <sighs> How do you know my address and who the hell are you? I, I know your address because I'm your son. You sent me that letter. It had your address on it. I need to talk to you about that dummy. Your son? Fine, I'll let you in. Thank you, Mr. Stein. You're, you're very much welcome. I don't know. Look, just follow me. Okay. Okay, Sonny. This is where the magic happens. So, this is where you write your books? Yeah. Speaking of my books, I really need to tell you something. What do you need to tell me? Okay, you're not going to believe this, but that typewriter right there, I wrote every original manuscript on it. And I have to use that typewriter to write my books for them to come to life. So that typewriter makes my books come to life. And the dummy you're dealing with is from one of my manuscripts. That, that's a lot. So, you're telling me that typewriter brings your books to life when you open them, the original manuscripts. And the sloppy I got was from a book. And this, this is so much. Sloppy lied to me, too. He said that the, you know, you could... And anybody could write on any typewriter from your family and create something to come to life. He said it was in the genes. Well, I lied to Slappy and told him that it was in the genes so he wouldn't, you know, figure out that the typewriter was the real thing causing it. He believed it, and now he wants to go after you. He doesn't want to go after me because, well, for a few specific reasons. Probably one, because my newer manuscripts don't come to life. Why'd you send them out anyways? He forced me into it. He threatened to release all the monsters again. And of course, I don't want that to happen. I, I couldn't live with that for the third time. It's already happened twice before. Third time too many. And third time such harm, so we probably would have succeeded. Anyways... I knew your birthday was coming up, so I thought it was a decent excuse to get him over to you. He, w he would have killed me. He would have killed many people. I had no choice. Okay. Well, Sloppy tied me up, and I escaped, and now I'm here. He's still out there, and he's... Yeah, it's, it's eight, so he's probably home right now. He is home right now. He said he'd come back at like 7 or something. So what do I do? I, I can't just leave him there. Especially if he has manuscripts in his trunk. Take this. This is the original manuscript for Night of the Living Dummy. If you open it, it will suck him back in. So, they can be sucked back in? Yes. 
So it's up to you to put him back in that book. And if he's already released any monsters, well, the manuscript should be in the trunk. Okay. What what if I can't do it? What what if what if, what if something happens to the book? I'm going to be honest. You have to keep that book safe. If it burns, Slappy will be practically invincible. Even if you destroy him, he will just come back. He'll reform. So, keep that book safe at all costs. I can't write another one. I I've, I've like I've lost my power. The typewriter's losing its power. Okay, I'll guard it with my life. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome, son. Now get out there and stop that dummy. And any other monsters you might have released. I, I will. Good boy. Where'd my Night of Living Dummy manuscripts go? There's like 12 books and I can't even find them. And now, it's time. I'll save you for later. Alright, monsters, let's show this town who really rules. Alright, guys, are you ready? Oh, shit, the front door's open again. I don't see Slappy. He's gotta be here somewhere. Shit. Let's hope the books are still there. They're almost all gone. But there's one left. Hey, slave! Sloppy? Hello, David. Welcome home. I even got you a gift. So what's it gonna be, David? Be my slave? Or die? 